with a birdie on 18. All by herself at the top, seven under. Celine Boutier leads in France by one. Major Championship Friday crafted quite the leaderboard. I'm Hope Arnett and you're watching LPGA Now. Let's get into it. Playing in her home country, the three-time tour winner has no shortage of obligations and fans. <laughs> so many the only interviews. week in the year, you know. <laughs> but with popularity comes pressure sometimes. So I asked her how she's able to stay grounded out there. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. I feel like in the past I've definitely, uh, you know, not handled it very well. I just feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself because I don't want to disappoint anybody. But um, if I've learned anything from the past, it's that I really have to just focus on, on the job and on the, on the course on each shot. And I feel like that's really helped me kind of really stay focused and, and not get ahead or like think too much about, uh, you know, the fans and the people watching. She kicked the day off with a birdie on one and then carded back-to-back -back birdies on 12 and 13. But just take a look at this shot into the 13th. What a shot. That was exceptional. Oh, that may be shot of the day. With three wins on tour, she's still looking for her first major. And what's the game plan heading into moving day? Um, I think it's just the same. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's uh, going to depend a lot on the conditions. And I feel like here it changes a lot too. So you just have to adapt very well. And I think we're expecting a little bit of wind as mm -hmm. well. So I feel like uh, you just got to, you know, uh, be very patient and uh, hit as many fairways and greens as possible. Tied for second behind Celine is Patty Tavitanikit and Yuka Sasso. I think overall, pace of my game, the way I was walking, I feel like the overall energy, momentum was really good. Um, not too fast, not too slow, just in a good zone. Potentially the same zone she was in when she won the Chevron Championship in 2021. On the fifth, Patty showed us how to hit a bunker shot. Hello. Wonderful. <laughs> Who says five's playing a tough hole today, eh? And then closed out her round with a birdie on nine. What a round of golf that is. Patty Tavitanakita. And take a look at Yuka's scorecard. Although she started off with a double bogey and a bogey, she turned it around pretty quickly. She would go on to card seven birdies during her second round. And this is how she got one of them. Solid 9-9 for Sasso, but she needs all of it. Could be good. That could be good. It's right on the yeah. edge. Now it's easy. Yeah. It's kind of feast of famine on this hole from what we've seen. Here's a quick look at the leaderboard as we head into Saturday. With Celine in first and Patty and Yuka in second, we have Nasa Hataoka, Gabby Lopez, and Allison Lee tied for fourth. We are officially halfway through the Amundi Evian Championship, and you guys know what day it is. It's moving day. So be sure to tune in on Golf Channel and Peacock and come back right here to watch LPGA Now.